gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to Alexis' 60th birthday celebration tonight. I would like to extend first and foremost a special welcome to His Excellency the President of Ghana, Nana Adodampa Ekufuado, and his lovely wife, Her Excellency Mrs. Rebecca Akufuado. My children, Elliot, Charlotte, and Benjamin and I are deeply grateful and honored. We say thank you, Yadamwase. But when, you, but when you see my father, you wouldn't think it, because for as long as, for as, long as we've all known him, he just seems to be so, so full of energy. And uh, he's a marvelous person, he's a very kind person, but like his own wife said, deliciously stubborn. Some age, other mature, like a fine bottle of wine, one thing is sure. Alex, you are now 60, and you have it all, yet you've managed to stay so humble. I think that says it all. Family, God, and country, a legend to all. Thank you. This is to wish you, my dear friend, Alex, a happy 60th birthday. You've accomplished so much in your life, and I'm so happy to call you a friend. His entrepreneurship abilities started at an early stage, that is in primary school. When I was a teacher and had a number of Alex knew all about all my customers and would sometimes supply the goods in my absence. He was also my personal accountant and made sure that all our sanding debts were recovered. Well, happy birthday. May the blessings of God that make us rich in all areas of life rest upon you. I declare my favorite Psalm 91 over you. That's from my mom, Mrs. Gloria. And I'm proud to say that if we are here today and we celebrate this, we celebrate it because it is there. Alex, you are what a true friend should be. Loyal, kind, and loving. I will not have anyone. Thank you all for coming. I do think it's a night of speeches. A lot has been said about myself and that. I, I, I didn't know who you were talking about, but I think I will accept that and identify with it. Um, it's been an honor and a privilege to see all of you here, especially Mr. President. Like my pastor said, you don't get the president attending uh, ceremonies of everyone. So I am actually really, really privileged. When I was a kid growing up, my dad had a letter from the head of state at that time, the, uh, General Kutue Champo, congratulating him on something. And I thought to myself, he said, and he had signed it, yours in the name, uh, in the service of Ghana, General Kutue Champo. I read the letter, um, congratulating my dad and, and, and that, right? So I thought to myself, So, so here we are today, right, living the dream of my dad and myself.